most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! Learn your place, pawn. to talk during mission, sir. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
observe your foes carefully and attack the situation as well. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What's happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. That's a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Merlin to see that. Can but hope rid us No mean feat, to be sure. But that's the Sovereign's duty, isn't it? When the dragon rears its ugly head, the Sovereign appears among the people and steps forth to challenge it. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the Sovereigns who have served it over time. Though, firstly, I'm just glad to know we've got someone looking out for us. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray, come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Pawns are known as crossers of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. That looks promising. And Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest. Though the... A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time.
always a pleasure. Hey all, you a soldier? To be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Lachlan, but I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Ocado, to be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The hide can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Perhaps we ought to hurry. Lest we arrive too late to be evade. I'm about to commence the troops' training regime. Tis a task that demands focus. So if tisn't an urgent matter, it can wait till after we're done here. They've a ways to go yet. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Are you fit to travel? At once, Master. Dare I say it, we trounced our fo- Is that all of them? Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time. 
but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Shall we report our results? Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come later. Twas a pleasure to recount such good tidings. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not get down. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. So this is Mel. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. 
When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. Tis an immutable truth of this world. Right you are. 